Hello Jokers, thanks for watching this episode of Jokers Physiotherapy. Today I wanted to share with you something that's uh, quite interesting. Uh, it's related to, obviously, the jaw, but also your breathing. Now we've been uh, stressing the importance of breathing through in through the nose, and for that we need a tongue on the roof of your mouth. But what if the actual sinus or the nose itself is blocked? And there may be many, many, many reasons for that. Uh, today, I wanted to share with you this particular case is a swollen and enlarged hypertrophy, whatever the name you want to use it, inferior, inferior turbinates. They're the parts in the sinus, nose. Uh, you got a pair of them. And uh, when you have episodes of cold or... Uh, uh, rhinitis, where there's run, uh, inflammation in the sinus or in the nose, it can per it can become chronically inflamed, and when it's re repetitively inflamed or go through, uh, let's say, allergic rhinitis or hay fever, and you have some allergic reaction to something you're exposed to on a regular basis, uh, may not be constantly, uh, but regular basis. It can cause the inflammation to be so persistent that the inf inf inferior turbinates become in enlarged, hypertrophied. Um, and that means you have narrower passage for uh, air to be taken in. Therefore, you can't breathe in fast enough and therefore you have to breathe through your mouth and the tongue drops and then breathing through your mouth means your 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 mouth gets drier gum dries up and the dryness in the mouth has a strong link to clenching and that's where the jaw comes in also when you have a dry mouth it dries your gum you are more exposed to the risk of infections such as getting catching cold tonsillitis and i have few patients who's undergone basically driven by sinus sinus issue blocking such as inferior turbinates being enlarged which causes people to breathe through the mouth dries their mouth repetitive tonsillitis and it can put in your immune system under so much pressure it can induce or can cause uh, other autoimmune conditions such as psoriasis and other conditions that are, are related to the immune system then your body and the joints can become inflamed quite easily so uh, it can lead on to multiple issues and uh, so it'll be it'll be worthwhile finding out what's the driving uh, issue for your sinus problem which can save your jaw from becoming a problem or in later down the track uh, causing as we as we talked about autoimmune conditions if infections occur repetitively so I just wanted to share this with you today thanks for uh, watching this episode of Jokers Physiotherapy and I look forward to uh, seeing you in another episode now if you like these videos please give me a thumbs up or subscribe for future uh, videos Okay, cheers, happy rehab.